breast. Is he about to plant one on Judy Dench? <sighs> and I had this feeling of impending doom. I tell you, fairies will like this film. Now the biggest issue with this film for me is toes. Meow, 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 meow. The question is, do I do the whole thing with cat ears on? Meow, 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 meow. Maybe these ones would be better. Maybe? Maybe not. Jellical cats and jellical cats. Jellical cats and jellical cats. Let's be honest, this is the only way to really do it, isn't it? Do I look like a cat? If you're like, what the hell's going on? This is actually a wig that I got when I tried to recreate the cat's makeup from the musical cat from the stage production. Now, if I was trying to recreate the film version, I'd really just put like a bald cap on, some like cardboard ears like here, and that'd be me done. Meow, 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 meow. <sighs> They've all got human toes. I really like cats. <laughs> just so you know, my cat's gone crazy. I think he knows what I did today, and I think he's trying to punish me. Today, I went to see Cats the film. I was so dedicated to this video that I even took a notepad, and I wrote down all my thoughts. I had a lot of them. I'm sure that you've clicked on this video because you think I'm gonna tear the thing apart. And yes, it's awful. But there are some redeeming things about it as well and some things that I really enjoyed. What I will say right off the bat is I think that the performances and the actors did a great job. I think generally overall, the people who are in it are fantastic. My main issue is with the directing and with the CGI. And I'm gonna tell you why. <gasps> I wrote so many pages of notes. I wrote one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages of notes on cats. And I'm gonna share them all with you right now. You lucky, lucky fellows. Now, what I will say, I love cats. I'm a person who enjoys the musical of cats. Yes. People say it has no storyline. People say it's about cats, so why would you like it? I like cats the animals, and I like cats the musical. I like Andrew Lloyd Webber. I like the songs. They have a strong nostalgia for me. I used to watch the video of Cats with my grandma. Now, when the trailer came out, my first instinct was, why do the cats have boobs? Now, what I will say is from that trailer to the film, there has been some slight changes. Don't be afraid, everyone. The boobs are slightly less booby, but we'll get back onto that. I went in with a relatively open mind. I'd heard very mixed reviews, obviously some very bad reviews, obviously some good reviews as well. Some people really like it. I'm sure Tom Tom Hooper likes it. Okay, so as it started, it said rated U. So I don't know what that is in America, but U is like for children. And it said very mild threat. And I was like, Ugh. and I had this feeling of impending doom. But anyway, the film started. By the way, this video is gonna contain spoilers of the film Cats. If you don't want spoilers, don't watch it. If you do, join me. <laughs> I mean, how much is there to give away? But anyway, obviously the biggest issue is with the CGI. At the beginning of the film, Victoria, who is the white cat, is in a, like a pillowcase or a sack or something and she's thrown into the alleyway and all the cats come to see who this new cat is. They're like, hey girl. One cat climbs down the wall like Spider-Man. I have a cat. Many, many millions of people have got cats. Why did no one say, Cats don't climb down the wall like Spider-Man. Cats will do like a one, two, and then a jump, but they don't go one, two, three, I'm going down, because they're not Spider-Man. It was a brick wall. It's little things like that that just are annoying. Mistopheles, and they all say, oh well, I never was there ever. Magical Mr. Mistopheles wears a hat in the film, and at one point, the very first time he puts his hat on, his ears just disappear. They disappear, and then they appear through the hat so obviously his hat has got holes for his ears they don't peek through and then they appear like slightly away from his head I mean honestly the CGI in this film is is quite poor and I am no CGI'er I have no idea how to work a green screen but I feel like with a little bit of googling and whatever I feel like I could maybe do CGI a little better than this because my god it's really bad so Tom Hooper obviously directed Les Mis. Obviously all the vocals in Les Mis are live and it's the same in Cats, so everything is sung live. All I'll say is that I think there's a lack of reverb. So the reverb is like basically a slight echo on microphones and sound that kind of makes it sound a bit more full. I understand that he's trying to make it really raw, which I think really works for Les Mis, but for Cats it's a bit like, 
why why are you i don't know it's hard to describe i suppose but i feel like there needed to be a little bit more reverb on the microphones that they're picking up or you know put some in post-production because it was just a bit too raw it sounded very much like they were in the room with you not sounding too great yeah so like the, the cgi is just too much when the dancers are tumbling so like doing flips and in the choreography and stuff you can see that that is the choreography that a human has done but with the cgi it makes it look like it's not real and it makes them kind of they kind of float through the air rather than moving through the air at a normal speed i don't know if i'm explaining this right but it's just kind of uncomfortable to watch the choreography is by andy blankenbuehler who did hamilton he's an amazing choreographer and i feel like it's kind of not doing him justice and how amazing he is at um, choreographing and I don't think it does the dancers justice either because I think they're putting in so much hard work and it's kind of not being seen. Now the biggest issue with this film for me is toes. <sighs> They've all got human toes. Like you can see them, they're five toes. I know a lot of people are like, oh, why do they look like humans? And then other people are like, well of course they look like humans, they're humans acting as cats. I'm fine with that, I get it. I love cats on stage where it's humans looking like cats. But those humans wear damn shoes. They wear leg warmers to separate the gap between ankle and calf. And they wear arm warmers to separate this, the gap of your wrist, where it kind of goes thinner that cats don't really have. Look, it's all one. I'm not gonna show his butt, but well, there it is. <laughs> There's your butt. It's kind of all in one. The way that they've been shown in the film, they've got the human form, but without anything to break it up. So it just looks like they're just wearing cat suits, which is not a good look on anybody. They're all kind of tabby cats as well. So they've all got short for like where's the Persian cat where's my main Coons you need a little bit of longer fur to, to kind of I don't know break it up a little bit but anyway the issue is they have human hands obviously what are they gonna do about their hands I'm not gonna give them paws but their feet Judy Dench is there doing a really important scene and then I look down and I'm like oh look Judy Dench has had her toenails done I shouldn't be looking at Judy Dench's toenails when she's playing a cat Ian McKellen has this big winter coat, he's got a scarf on, and then it pans out, so he's all wintry, and then you look down at his feet, and he's got his toes out, and you can see his toes! Why am I seeing human toes? It's not because they're human. Firstly, cats don't have toes. Yes, when they stretch their paws out like that. As they're walking along, you see their paws like as a one contained thing. Yeah, he's licking his bum. <laughs> and they lick their bums! I didn't see anyone lick their bum! No, I'm joking. <laughs> There's a bit where Victoria, the white cat, is dancing. Clearly, like she's an incredible ballet dancer. She's clearly in the filming of it, wearing point shoes. But they're like, hmm, throughout the film she's been having her human toes. So we'll just have to CGI over those point shoes with human toes. So she's on point doing pirouettes on human toes with no shoes on. Like, even just, even if they put her on releve rather than on full point, so that's where your, the ball of your foot is on the floor. So imagine this, my foot. The ball of your foot is on the floor rather than the point of your foot. Because if she was on the ball of her foot, it would be fine that she had bare feet. I mean, it wouldn't be fine, but I could live with it. But if she's on her point, she's, she's, she's doing, <laughs> I'm having an allergic reaction to it. I just have such a big issue with the human toes. I think when you compare the costumes of the film to the costumes of the show, obviously they're not gonna do the same, like reimagine it or whatever, but the way that in the show they do their faces, they kind of balance out the proportions of the body. So they have fur on their cheeks. Whereas in these, they've all got like these plain heads, like they've got a big condom on their head with little ears, no human ears or anything. And their whiskers, they all have white whiskers, which looks really weird. But then their noses, their noses are human noses, but they've got like fur on the rest of their face. But their noses are like not hairy, but there's no makeup or there's nothing to kind of that their cat noses. It's like a, it's like this human face put on a cat. The tails, the tails in the film just kind of come out of their lower back. Whereas in the show, they have them on like little strings around their waist. And it kind of, again, just breaks up the body and makes it look more normal. In some ways, they're like, we're gonna humanify them with the human toes and stuff. But in some ways, they're like, well, we can't pretend that it's 
a human because it's not, it's a cat. Just so you know, it's a cat. I don't know. Like, I think it would have probably been more successful if they'd have kind of done it a bit more like the show. It's just too CGI'd. It's just too, too CGI. And you can tell that they're filming it in like a studio because their feet. <laughs> It's like the angle of the floor isn't at the same angle of the floor as it is in the studio and their feet aren't quite right. Like sometimes you'll see parts of feet missing. I mean it's basic CGI that's just missed out. It's baffling because obviously it's a huge budget film. Like it's badly executed and it's badly designed about where it's going. I thought that the girl who played Victoria was fantastic in her dance. Like obviously she's a principal dancer for the Royal Ballet. So obviously she's amazing. But I thought that her acting was very good as well. She was really like on the whole time. She was acting with her whole body. She was really selling it like the film's first starting and they're all explaining who they are and you just have to kind of stand there and be like oh right that's you that's you whereas she's like acting the whole time and like really going for it and I thought that was amazing a lot of people tweeted about the boys having their crotches CGI'd out and somebody else was like I'm really concerned about how they poo and it's like I've never watched the show and thought how do they poo they're wearing a cat suit so I don't think that's necessary. It didn't really bother me, apart from Idris Elba. That was weird. <laughs> the girls' boobs, the majority of them were quite flattened down. So it, it didn't really bother me that the boys didn't have anything down there either. I think that's looking maybe into it a little bit too much and people being a little bit too critical. And that's coming from me doing a video criticizing the film. Well, I don't think I'm really crit... I am criticizing it, but I'm also, I think, sharing things that I liked about it as well. So I, I feel like I'm trying to do an honest review. Oh my God, there was a point where Rebel Wilson, so she her, she's a cat and she's got a collar on and her collar was literally like, it was like a piece of clip art put on wonky and it was like hanging away from her body and the join was like in her neck it was so bad honestly like i just think is this the final edit how many how many people must this have gone through to be like yeah yeah seems about ready to go out to the masses i didn't like Rebel Wilson's character. I normally like Gumby Cat, but I don't know, it was very slapstick. It was very like, oh look, she's so fat, she can't even stand up. It's like, really? Are they not better than just making humor out of the fact that she's bigger? I, I, I didn't like any of that scene. They had this like whole dance routine with cockroaches dancing, which is like, everyone was like, Tom Hooper's on drugs. I didn't think it was that mad. Maybe I've just seen some weird shit. I didn't think it was like that crazy. I just think it was badly executed. The feet were really bothering me. Just all of them having bare feet. Why, why do they have human toes? They could have just put them in dance shoes or like shoes of the character. Some cats are just fully naked, shoes out, tits out, living their best. Some cats have got like a hat. Some have got a coat and it's like, where does the line end on that? <laughs> Do you just not think it's able to show that cat's character without a physical costume thing? Just thoughts. It, a lot of it is like they're not really dancing. It's like, I don't know, it's like The Sims or something. A lot of it is just, it, the CGI is just too much. I know I keep saying it, but I just, I kept writing it because I kept thinking it. Let's be honest, Rum Tum Tugger in the filmed show when he's got that waistband and he's got his tail on a little belt and he's like very cool. He's wearing that shiny bodysuit. I'll be honest with you, eight year old me was shook and eight year old me was like, wow, I want to be with him. <laughs> Let's be honest, Rum Tum Tugger was probably my first crush. I was quite nervous when I saw the pictures of Jason Derulo and I thought, Jason Derulo, why are you being in Cats? I know that he went to drama school, but you know when you've always seen somebody as one thing? I don't know, I was apprehensive. But what I will say to you is I was really impressed by Jason Derulo. I actually thought he was great. I thought he really made the character his own. He sang his song in like a bit of an R&B way. He was doing like, super high, like falsetto-y bits, and I was like, oh, Rum Tum Tugger still got it. I, re I really enjoyed Jason Derulo. I don't know if that's what his song goes like, but you know. <laughs> There's a joke at one point, Rebel Wilson makes a joke about Jason Derulo singing really high, and she's like, maybe he was just nuded, snip, snip. And it's like, none of them have got crotches anyway, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
Awkward. I, I will say that Rum Tum Tugger, I love that he had his like physical rough thing. It made his shoulders look more normal because the way that it is, their heads are so tiny. They've then got these little human necks, little human shoulders, little human arms, but they're furry at the same time. I tell you, fairies will like this film. Seriously. His costume really balanced him out and he was probably the most normal looking cat. His eyes were a little scary, but generally I really liked Rum Tum Tugger. ZZ Stralin was also giving it everything by the way. ZZ Stralin I actually thought did a great job. Like she was giving it everything in all the background bits. My eye was always drawn to her. She's an amazing performer anyway, but she was just fantastic. I couldn't fault her. Right, there's a point at the end of Rum Tum Tugger where a cat leans on another cat's head so say this is another cat leans on the head and the arm because <laughs> I don't know the CGI person just couldn't be bothered the arm there's a gap <laughs> and the head. so it's not like it's resting on top it's like this is the head I can't describe it but it's bad CG it's just it's just lazy it's like maybe it's too big a job female nails long oh my god yeah some of the female cat had like human long nails now I know that cats have nails. Eugene uses them to climb up my leg all the time. There's something about them. I don't, I mean, I'm sure in productions of cats there have been people dressed in their cat's musical outfit and they've had their nails done. But I think there's something about seeing it really up close that's kind of scary. Do you know, it's just kind of uneasy feeling and unfun. So James Corden, I also thought did a really good job. I thought that he like was really trying. I thought he was good vocally. I know people get really down on James Corden, but as I say, I quite liked him. But his costume really l let him down. Like the way he looked really like went against him. He had normal shoulders and normal sized arms and then this humongous stomach that was like really low hanging and then normal legs. So it's like he just had a fat suit on for like his stomach and then normal legs and then he had these shoes that again you could just see that that he wasn't on the actual set of where the scene was taking place if that makes sense like if this is their feet right there's like a shoe on top it was kind of always like this or like this or like this their feet weren't like flat on the floor if that makes sense any sense at all I really don't know if it does but it's really uncomfortable to watch and I thought James Corden actually did a really good job but the way that his his body looked and the way he moved in the space I just don't think that they did him justice like I think it's a real shame maybe it's just because I'm excited for the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special but I love James Corden <laughs> The Mungo Jerry and Rumpel teaser song sounded really different. I don't know if it was just, I don't really like that song anyway, but I, it sounded different to me than in the show. I don't know if they rewrote bits of it, but I wasn't really a fan of it. Yeah, so my issue with the directing is specifically in the film, or maybe it's the cinematographer, the capturing of the dance. They'd be doing these big dance routines and the camera would kind of span across and just catch a hairy leg or a hairy arm or a hairy bum. It didn't kind of capture the dance properly and the beats of the dance. Like, I feel The Greatest Showman, for all of its faults, captures dance beautifully. You kind of move with the dancers and you're you're taking on a story with the dancing. And I felt like in Cat, it was just like, what's going on? Who's where? It was very confusing and I think it was a shame because again the choreography was beautiful and the dancers are so talented but you kind of can't see it because it's these these weird spanning shots that just don't I don't know if it needed to be captured or filmed by a theatre director or a dance director or the same guy who directed The Greatest Showman but just it was disappointing again the arms and legs and the way that they kind of move into the body and the breaks of wrists and ankles are just such an issue. It just looks so jarring. It doesn't look like cats. 
and it doesn't look like humans. Yeah, I was saying again about the normal waists in the show. When they all sang Old Deuteronomy, do, 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 Old Deuteronomy, I don't remember what it goes like, I don't remember the words, but when Judy Dench first came in, I actually loved it. It was probably my favourite part of the film, and I was sat there with a big smile on my face. I thought it sounded beautiful, it looked gorgeous, I loved it when the cats were coming up and rubbing their faces on her, especially um, Monka Strap, amazing, I'll get to him. I thought he was incredible. He's the one who's kind of the narrator, the one that, who like does the very first bit and kind of narrates the whole thing I suppose and ties it all together. The way that he nuzzled into Judy Dench, oh I thought it was really cute. I thought Judy Dench was fantastic. Hands and feet would have been better on feet. Oh yeah, so there are some moments where they're kind of on their hands and feet kind of lying down and listening. And I think it would have been fine to have them on hands and knees, kind of more crouched like a cat would sit. I wonder if they'd have done it like just standing up. But the way that it was, was kind of like, I've never seen a cat crouch like that unless they're about to attack. You know when cats kind of crouch down and they're about to attack? It was like that, but that was just their kind of passive state. They're kind of listening, but in that position. I don't know, it was weird. I don't think that worked quite right. Yeah, I think that Judy Dench did a great job. I don't think she looked as weird as I expected her to. The first time I saw the advert, I thought, why is Judy Dench wearing a coat of her own fur? But it doesn't kind of look like that, and I was okay to kind of suspend disbelief for it. The music, as always, I love the music of Cats. I think Andrew Lloyd Webber does great big scores beautifully. I think it could have been louder. I don't know if that's a cinema thing. Some cinemas are louder than others apparently. Can't really fault that, but you know. There were two dancers wearing Converse, but the rest of their bodies were normal. And I was like, why are you wearing Converse and I have to see everybody else's toes? Is it because you have bad toes? Or is it because they really don't know what they're doing? <laughs> But the two who were wearing Converse, great dancers, why are you wearing Converse and why do your feet not land on the floor properly? Oh my God. There's a bit where they're in the theatre and Victoria, the white cat, has got her arms out and it looks like she's like dislocating her arms. I don't know what that was about. I don't know if it's CGI, if she's got some crazy arm skills, but I didn't like it. I was so uncomfortable. Yeah, so people always say that Cats has no storyline and I'm like, I understand that it doesn't, it does have a storyline, but it doesn't have like the storyline in a normal sense, I suppose. When they did the Jellicle Cats and Jellicle Cats, Jellicle Cats and Jellicle Cats, Jellicle Cats, that bit, it kind of came out of nowhere and then ended for no reason and there was no explanation. <laughs> I'm used to musicals, I'm used to songs and dances starting from nowhere, but there's usually some kind of reason and for this there was really no kind of reason. Jennifer Hudson looks like she had concealer under her eyes that she hadn't like blended in and that she had like a milk moustache because she had really white bits under here and a big white bit around here. Obviously cats have different markings, they're not all one colour. They did a bad with that and it's not her fault. Right, there was a point as well where Jennifer Hudson had a very snotty nose. Tom Hooper likes people crying. This is what I have got from Les Mis and from cats. He clearly likes people to be acting so much that they're crying. And there's a point where she's got like a really snotty nose and she's got like a snotty lip. She's like fine, but she had no tears. Is that snotty nose from a different take? Is it a preset snotty nose? Or have you just got a cold? These are the questions I'm asking. I didn't like the new song. What was it called? Beautiful Ghost or something? I thought it was really b a bit bland and it didn't kind of have any character to it. I didn't understand why it was there. I, d I felt like it was fine to not have it. I felt like it was there so that they could write a new song, not for the benefit of the storyline. Does Jay Hood have a cold? See, it was really bothering me, that snotty nose. A lot of it, she had like real, real snot coming from her nose. And it's like, I understand, I have a Persian cat at home. She gets a snotty nose because she's got such a flat face. But I'm like, Jay Hood, you've got that big furry thing on you. Just give it a little wipe. We've got ourselves a Sula, snotty upper lip alert. <laughs> I thought Ian McKellen was beautiful. He was so kind of 
gentle, he was really charming, very sweet. I thought he sang beautifully, even though it wasn't like belty and loud, it was so sweet and delicate and just right. He really sold the story as well. I feel like a lot of them were like, I'm in a musical, so I'm gonna sing like I'm in a musical. Whereas Ian McKellen told the story through the music, which is very important when you're in a musical. <laughs> Again with the CGI, it kind of looks like they're in slow motion. My easiest way of describing it, this is what occurred to me while I was watching the film. You know when you've got an Uber and your Uber, the GPS isn't working. You now you look at your Uber map, you're like, where's my car? And your Prius is just like floating over roads and it's kind of slow. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if that's just me and my strange head. It reminded me of an Uber that had a bad GPS. Like when they jump, they kind of are like, I can't describe it. It's not good though. <laughs> There's a point where Judy Dench is sat in a basket and it looks so weird. <laughs> like, I love Judy Dench in it, but she's not got her coat on, she's just in a normal cat stuff. And she's sitting in a basket listening to Ian McKellen. And then at one point she just like points her leg up. You know like Victoria Beckham always has her leg up. It was like that, but Judy Dench was doing it and I was like, Judy's got those flexible skills. So Skimble Shanks the Railway Cat, that song is one of my favourite songs in the show, I love it. When I saw him he had like high waisted trousers on and I thought I'm gonna like Skimble Shanks. And he starts and he's doing this amazing tap routine and his feet, when they do it up close, it's a shot of his feet on some wood and it looks great. When they do it from far away it's like why is that CGI so bad? At one point it looks like he's literally floating in the air tapping, it's so messy, like I just can't get over it, it's really just disappointing. I know I keep talking about toes. And in the show, they don't wear tap shoes the whole show, but when they do skimble shanks, they all whack on their tap shoes. But I feel like they could have made a thing about it. It's clearly that the cats are putting on a performance, but suddenly they all had tap shoes on. And then suddenly they all had no shoes on again. And I thought, like, maybe I'm just obsessed with feet, but... <laughs> If you don't like feet, you won't like this film. <laughs> oh yeah, right. In Skimbleshanks, there was a moment, they're all on this like train carriage, and there's a mini cat there, and I don't know if I was writing something and then I looked up and missed a storyline, a segment of the song, but there was suddenly this tiny cat for no reason, and then it was gone. If anyone can help me on that, please let me know. Right, Taylor Swift. So she's sat on this moon, the music is starting, and her foot is tapping out of time. Movie magic, you could have made it at least so her foot is in time. Even if she hadn't kept in time, you could have done it so her foot was in time. I was so annoying. <laughs> I have to say as well, why did Taylor Swift have bigger boobs than everybody else? And why did they jiggle so much? The females kind of had like flat chests. And Taylor Swift is like, whoa, look at my breasts. And then Taylor Swift is wearing a little pair of heels. She's got normal human body, big breasts, and then normal leg. So it's just this one whole thing in a catsuit and then shoes on at the bottom. It looks so weird. I don't know, it's so weird. At one point as well, her face really, really looked like it had just been put on a totally CGI cat. Like I was saying about the floor with their feet being like not quite on the floor, her face was like not quite on the right angle of the cat. Now as I say, I wasn't massively bothered about the crotches with the boys, but Idris Elba, when he took off his jacket, you could see everything of his body. I mean, whoever gave him his bodysuit was, <laughs> I don't know if he pulled the short straw, but he must have had like a 10 denier suit on because you could see his belly button through his cat suit. You could see his muscles. You could see everything of his body but no crotch. And that was the point where it was like, that does look actually really weird. Like he looks fully naked. And I'm not saying you should be able to see his knob, but you know, put a belt on them and show a bulge because they are boys and boy cats have penises. Idris Elba's eyes really scared me as well. So you know how normally I fancy Rum Tum Tugger? I tell you, I finished this and I fancied Munker Strap. <laughs> I thought he had a real sexy quality about him. I, l I always love Munker Strap. I think he like really ties the show together. In the original recording, he's amazing. And the guy who, oh, I can't remember his name, the guy who played him in the film is just fantastic as well. So Mr. Mistopheles, again a character I love. I really like cats. <laughs> right, there's clearly this like sexual chemistry going on between Victoria and Mr. Mistopheles, but at the end of 
his song, he brings back old Deuteronomy, and they're all like nuzzling each other, and then he goes up to Judy Dench, and I was like, is he about to plant one on Judy Dench? And he gets so close to her, and then it's over, but he's like, why didn't you like, you know like cats like bop? They, they weren't. What I will say as well about the bopping, when Eugene bops me, he's like, he like really goes for it, and all of them are kind of like, it's a bit soft. I've been filming for over an hour and gone through two batteries so far. Oh, at one point did Rebel Wilson unzip her own fur to reveal a little tap number underneath? Did I imagine that? Yeah, human toenails. <laughs> when Judy Dench had her toenails painted black, I was like, what's that about? I think like, as I've said, people always say that Cats has no storyline. I feel like they attempted to give the film a little bit of a storyline, but it's like Old Deuteronomy is taken from, is taken by McCavity and put on this barge and then Miss Mistopheles magics her back and then nobody talks about it. They're not like, who else was on the barge, Old Jute? Oh, how did she get back? What was it like? Are you all right now? It's then just forgotten. Weird, human, <laughs> human toes. Jennifer Hudson sounded great, but I felt like she was acting the emotion of the song and not the story of the song. Like, it was just like, I'm going to cry. I'm in a Tom Hooper musical. I'm going to cry. Whereas she wasn't telling the story for me and then everybody else was crying and I was like, why is everyone crying? <sighs> So then old Deuteronomy is like, you're the jellical choice to Jennifer Hudson. And it's like, and she literally says, you're going to dance with all the cats. And they then walk her into a hot air balloon and she flies away. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Who are you dancing with? It made no sense. <laughs> and at the end, they're all at Trafalgar Square and they're all singing to Jennifer Hudson in the distance. But there's also a huge advert for Bovril. So it kind of looks like they're all singing to a Bovril advert instead of Jennifer Hudson, which is weird. <laughs> I don't know. I would be so interested to know what you all think. As I say, weird. A lot of respect for the performers. Like, I know people worked really hard on it. I know that they did, but the two big issues were just too big for me. Those feet, I think I'll see those feet in my nightmares. So weird. Anyway, if you've seen it, let me know what you think. Please, please, please. If you haven't seen it, are you going to? I'm kind of tempted to go back because I went to go and see it on my own just so I could make this video because I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to see it. And I want to go back with like my friends or family or something to get their opinion and <laughs> kind of <laughs> reassess. I don't know, interesting, very strange. I really liked Taylor Swift's catnip thing that she was, it was all diamond and I really liked that. <laughs> See, I liked something. I hope that you don't think I was too harsh on it either. Like, I don't think I was harsh on anyone's performances. It was more on the technical side of things and just a shame about the design and things of it. And I don't think I'm trashing it just to trash it because that's popular and funny. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoy Cats if you see it. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.